Hello hey guys, Bing here. So last time we did a, uh, a sort of study. So we use a sun setting to uh, in Revit to create a, sh a shadow uh, diagram. Um, so today uh, we're going to create a little tool to to measure the uh, sun angle, so the altitude. Okay, so let's start. Start. So first, I'm going to create a project. So in this project, I'm going to go to the 3D view. Okay, so in 3D view, so we can turn on the shadow path and let's choose this one. And then, so this is the shadow path. So of course, let, let me just draw a wall, draw a wall here. Okay, so make, make it maybe a, a three meter high. And okay, so, this is the sun path, right? So we uh, we know that um, we can change this to a different time. So and we can play with the, the 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 shadow. So turn the shadow on. So we can go here. Uh, use preview solo. Uh, preview solo study. Yep. So and then change the time. To a, uh, to a different time of that day, and uh, of course you can change this to a, a different se a, a whole season, so multiple days or even a whole year. Okay, so so today's task is so we are going to let me just uh, uh, change the oh so something's not right. Let me I think it should be. Okay, so go back to in, in session. So ch I'll change this to uh, go back to Equinox. Okay, so go preview sound study. So let me just change it to, okay, for example, this time, 12 o'clock in uh, Equinox. So today's task is I'm going to create a little tool to get the altitude. So, um, so if I do a screenshot of this, so the sound coming down here, so you will see this shadow. So I want to get the angle. Oh, wrong, wrong way, wrong. I want to get the angle of this, uh, the the uh, the value of this angle. Okay, so I'll call it A L T. And okay, so how do we do it? Um. Let's let's do it. <laughs> okay, so uh, okay, so uh, we need to create a little tool. So I'm going to create a family. It will be a generic model adaptive. Okay, so in this model, and first I'm going to create two points. So one, two. Select these two points. Make adaptive. Adaptive, and then with these two points selected, so we can go use this at spline through points. So now this will give us a, a line between these two. And then with this line selected, so check this one. So this become, it become a reference line, reference line. So now uh, what I'm going to do is set work plan, pick this reference uh, work plan of this reference line and DI dimension. So dimension, pick this adaptive point this adaptive point. So now we have a dimension here. So we can then create a, a parameter, a reporting parameter. I'll just call it X, instance reporting. Okay, so now we can, um, so what I'm going to do is, so this is the point. So if, if we measure this uh, shadow, it will be a point here, this at this point. And the point two will be this point. So it will be a length of this shadow. So what I need to do is, so if I go back here, so this will be X, right? So this is X. So if I connect this one to the top of this wall, so this will be 90 degree. And um, and then we, we can we can we can have a height so probably it's just an instant parameter so we can type in the height so once we type in the height so we can get this angle here okay so now let's go back to the family so we're going to create a new parameter so it will be uh hang on. go let me go here uh, which one this one yeah family types so we need to create a new parameter so it will be a height height and it will be length, it will be instance, 
Okay, so okay, and then uh, I'll just type in a number. So for example, uh, one later. Okay, so we can change it in the project, and then create a new. So this time it will be a l t altitude. Okay, so a l t. Um, it will be an angle parameter, and it will be an instance. So for this one, we're going to create a put in a formula. So a formula will be so in this triangular shape. So this angle a l t equals arctangent arctangent arc h divided by x okay so this will be the formula so go back to revit oops sorry uh, go back to revit and so just need to type in so arctangent a t a n bracket h divided by x bracket and then it tells us this angle so it, this is uh, this is the angle the value of the angle when the, the wall of the height is one meter and the shadow the length of the shadow is 12 meter okay so click ok and this is it and also i'm going to create another line because when when we load this into the project we won't be able to see this because this we only have two adaptive points and one reference sign so what we're going to do is select these two points and create a another spline through points. So now we have another model line, okay? So overlapping uh, with this uh, reference line. So now let's load this into the project, and then we can go to 3D view. So I'm going to just draw it from this point, this point, to uh, to this point, I believe. So now if I select this and it will tell well actually we still need to change the height of this because it can't it's one meter so apparently it's not correct so this wall is three meter so we just need to type in three meter it tells us okay so this is the altitude of this uh, when at this time 12 o'clock in equinox, uh, uh, equinox during the equinox okay so that's the altitude and yeah so that's pretty much it so if it doesn't really matter what the height of the wall is so for example if I draw another wall here um, maybe I'll draw something different okay so I'll draw a, a uh, draw something different okay so 30 mil partition and I'll make it one meter high so for, for example uh, one meter high okay so now so just need to make sure, so it's this point, um, maybe I'll just rotate it a little bit so I can tell from, I think should be, yeah, should be this point, point here. So now we can select this family, uh, create a similar, so maybe just go back to component again. So we can start it from this point and finish at, oh, where's my shadow? Here, here, just zoom in a little bit more. My shadows here so now select this uh, line we need to change oh it's one meter correct so th they are supposed the angle here are supposed to be the same so 54.3 54.4 yeah close enough okay so this is it so i think um yeah sometimes we need to calculate if we need to calculate uh calculate the angle of the the, the altitude so i think this can be uh useful but yeah i think or the other way it says you can just always google or uh, search what uh what what time so um uh, what location location some uh, specific time so you can get the angle sound angle all the information but this is uh how we can do it in revit so um just with the height, with the length, a little trigonometry. Okay, so that's that's it. Oh, and also a very very a quick uh, tip for you. So extra. So when we play with the sound path, so some people might think, uh, actually, what I'm, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, actually, I'm going to just place copy this wall a little bit. So pretend these are some neighboring buildings so i build model some side neighboring uh, buildings there and when you sometimes you might 
they found that uh, if you turn off this sound path, path, turn it on again, this become this one becomes huge, right? And if you so if you change the size of the sound path, it's only 100. So if I type in 99, it will tell you, oh no, we can't do that. 100 to 500. But how can we do a small one? So because my building is only this big, um, so you can do this actually. So what you can do is you select your building, okay? So do a section box, and turn off the sound path, and turn on the sound path, and then just uncheck the section box. So now, this time you will have your building with all the neighbor building with a, a relatively smaller sound path, okay? That's that's it. Um, okay, so that's it for today, and I hope you um, uh, find it. Uh, useful. Okay, so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.